we're not just complaining and exposing this assault on equal justice, equal protection of the laws. We're in court trying to vindicate and protect and preserve our Constitution. So what is Judicial Watch doing? Well, we're obviously doing what we do, which is we, we're trying to figure out what's going on in the government, going to court to get access to information, suing where we can, where this racialism, this extremism is being implemented. So we've got several cases in that regard. We have two cases in California over diversity mandates for boards of directors quotas, where, where people are treated according to their race, sex, and other qualities, not on merit. And in Massachusetts, we have a court hearing on Monday, our lawyer, Michael Bukeshi, will be participating, who's, he's running the case. We're representing Dave Flynn, um, a high school football coach who was fired from his high school co coaching job because if a few weeks earlier, a few months earlier, he complained about his daughter being taught in seventh grade ancient history class, Black Lives Matter uh, propaganda and critical race theory propaganda, anti-police, all sorts of, you know, the, everything that you might think. And he complained about it and he couldn't get anywhere with them. So he took his kids out of school, out of the public school at least. And he was fired in retaliation, it's quite evident based on the evidence, shortly thereafter. So we're suing a federal court and there's an order, there's a hearing on it on Monday. So we're not just complaining and exposing this assault on equal justice, equal protection of the laws. We're in court trying to vindicate and protect and preserve our constitution and the notion that everyone gets a fair shake, no matter their race, and no one gets special treatment. And I said it once, I'll say it again, the left does not believe in the race neutral, application of the law. We saw that during the Obama administration and its Justice Department, and they're bringing back the same crowd who are on the inside and on the outside encouraging it. Now it's, now they're coming all back. Some of them are coming inside to push this radical agenda. The Biden administration just announced through its Department of Education they'll be making grants to advance what essentially is critical race theory. So our schools are under attack. And if you have a child or a grandchild in school, and I don't mean just public school, I mean every school, you should take note as to what they're being taught because it's a crisis. So, uh, you know, wish us luck for the hearing on Monday. Uh, hopefully it will be uneventful. I'm, I'm thinking it might be just scheduling, but who knows? You never know if a court's going to talk substance or not. So, the point is, we're, the case is moving along, and it, we're just beginning to fight. We're just beginning to fight. We are taking this uh, deadly seriously. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch all the latest news from Judicial Watch.